Welcome back for another VChain Prize prediction analysis video where I will be sharing areas that VChain needs to continue holding above in the next coming hours, give you my pullback target areas and my long term additive analysis on the VChain chart. And before I do so, show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership. And at the time of this recording, VeChain is holding above the 20-day MA here on the 4-hour chart, which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. We are also holding above a significant area of support at around the 0.01798 dollar mark, which is also acting as support. And starting the video by first giving you my long-term additive analysis, then give you what I'm expecting on the short term. You can easily see that VeChain gave us a bear market low at around the 0.013 which is down here before we saw this impulsive move to the upside where we picked in a 5 wave structure giving us a high above the 0.021 dollar mark and after seeing the formation of that first wave we started a corrective structure in the formation of this wave too in a move that gave us a bit of a corrective structure into this blue target area which was the minimum target area for that wave 2 to the lower side and we have fully maximized that minimum target area for that wave 2 and there are now high chances that we have a low in place for the second wave and whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of an impulsive move to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and because of the impulsive nature in the formation of that wave 3 I'm also expecting to see another micro idea to have count within the formation of that wave 3 having the wave 5 fully maximizing our minimum target areas in the formation of this wave 3 and at the time of this recording you can now see that VeChain has now given us a high in the formation of this wave 1 seen a corrective structure in the formation of this wave 2 and there are now high chances that whatever we are seeing is the start of an impulsive move in the formation of this wave 3 and the minimum target areas for that wave 3 can be given by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave giving me a minimum target area for the wave 3 at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.022 one dollar mark and that is the minimum that we can expect that wave three to the upper side to do and what that means is that as long as you continue holding above support at around the 0.01798 dollar mark there are chances that we can get one more bounce to the upside see a break above resistance at around the 0.02 dollar mark maybe get a retest then fully maximize the 0.022 dollar mark which is our target area in the formation of that wave 3 then expect a pullback in the formation of this wave 4 then continue getting impulsive in the formation of that wave 5 to the upper side alternatively in case in the next coming hours you continue seeing further weakness on the charts then that will be suggesting that we might see a bit of a cool off here on the charts and once that movement plays out then i'm expecting significant areas of supports to continue holding and as long as you continue holding above the 0.01798 dollar mark expect another push to the upside but in case we are we get more bearish and we lose that significant area of support then using the fibonacci's we can get an area within which vchain needs to continue holding by connecting the fibs from the low of the second wave to that high of the, over there giving me a minimum target area between the fib level 0.382 and the fib level 0.618 and that is between the 0.01832 dollar mark and the 0.01743 dollar mark which is an area that i have highlighted on the charts using this red target area and as long as you are holding within this area in case we see a massive pullback here on the charts i will still be expecting higher prices but if by any chance we see a break out of this red target area 
then a more bearish scenario will be playing out where we can expect further pullback back into this blue target area to get one more new low before we can get another massive push to the upside and, and see a break above significant areas of resistances. So that is what I'm keeping my eyes on, on the VeChain chart on the short term and also on the long term. And I hope that video was of much help to you and I hope to see you in the next one.